back to my channel. I'm excited to be here today to film, obviously, what I got in my BoxyCharm. So, so if you guys get BoxyCharm or any other subscription services, let me know down in the comments and um, I'd love to try out new services and all of that kind of stuff. And I would love to know what you guys got in your BoxyCharm. I know they're all pretty much the same, but um, usually there's like one product that's different. But this month I was just counting up my products, getting ready to film, and I was counting them and I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm looking at them. I've never gotten six products before. So I'm excited about that. I think that's really awesome. Um, yeah, I've always gotten five, four or five. Yeah, it's never been six. So I don't know. Did everyone get six this month? I would love to know. So let me know. Um, so as always, I'm going to be trying these products on my face as we talk about them. So I just wanted to do a quick little intro and let you know what we would be filming today, even though you can already tell by the title. But anyway, if you'd like to see what I got in my boxy charm this month, please keep on watching. Okay, so my face is already cleansed, moisturized, and primed, and one of the things that we did get in our box this month was a brush. I feel like every month we do usually get a brush of some kind, but this month it is by Bare Minerals. It is their Perfecting Face Brush. Looks like this, it has a little divot in the center. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Maybe, maybe not. Can you kind of see? It has like a little divot in the center. It's like a little pocket where you can put your foundation, I'm assuming. So I personally don't usually use foundation brushes. I love beauty sponges. My beauty blender is like my go-to. I love the L'Oreal sponge. So this will be kind of new and different for me. Um, I've never tried this brush in particular anyway. So we're gonna give it a try today. We are gonna be going in with our CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation, and this is in the shade 725 Buff Beige. I'm gonna apply it right on the center of the brush. Um, so this brush retails for $28, and it says this patented makeup brush lets you adjust your foundation coverage by the drop for a perfectly seamless foundation application. And their tip is apply your favorite foundation into the fluid reservoir, which I'm assuming is this little divot, of the brush, buff the foundation into your skin in a swirling circular motion, starting on the outside of your face near your cheekbones, working your way to the forehead, cheeks, and nose. That was very informative, I feel like. <clears throat> So that was good, gave me lots of lots of information. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna apply the foundation right to the center here. I'm gonna start with a pump and we'll see how far that gets us. So, I know, it's like using a new product or something, like you always have to like take a deep breath and go in. But I don't usually use brushes, so I don't love, I just don't always love the way it makes my foundation look. I always feel like I get better coverage with sponges, but we're gonna give it a go. Just kind of disperse it and it says to go in circular motions starting from the outside and working your way in. When I do use brushes I definitely do usually use more of a stippling motion because I feel like that does help with the coverage but this specifically says to use swirling motions. So that's kind of what we're doing. So I used a full pump and that covered like this cheek area of my face, so not terrible. I'm gonna go in with another pump, but it does look like the brush is not eating any of the product, which is good. And I think this little, you know, reservoir is kind of cute. So I'm gonna go into the other side. Yeah, I think this is mostly why I don't use brushes. I feel like the application is kind of, let me zoom you guys in a little bit. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but you can see like the brush strokes a little bit. Like especially when I go like that, you can really kind of see 
but it says to use swirling buffing motions but I feel like yeah I feel like when you do that with brushes it just gives you brush strokes so I'm gonna try more stippling yeah I definitely am not getting as good of coverage with this brush okay so overall I feel like I knew this was gonna kind of be my least favorite product of the box just because I don't see myself using it I don't really use foundation brushes and if I did it would be something that's a lot larger um, like my Sigma F80 which is a little larger and just covers more space and it's a little more packed uh, densely packed than this one this one's a little more flimsy so I don't see myself reaching for this one um, yeah or I even have the um, Sigma F84 which I do like too it's a little more rounded and angled so um, I don't love this brush but some people may love it if it's definitely your thing and it could work really well with their bare minerals foundation so um, I would if you have that I would definitely give it a try I don't I do have other mineral foundations but it's not really my go-to foundation so it's soft it feels like a nice brush um, the quality seems really good so that's a definite plus and it says it retails for $28 so that's like an awesome deal that you get it in your BoxyCharm because your BoxyCharm is only $21 so you've already gotten your money's worth out of the box and then some so it feels like a really nice quality brush just not something I'll reach for so I'm gonna go ahead and apply concealer and some of my face products and then I will be okay so I've bronzed a little bit I've powdered my face the next product we are gonna go into is a loose blush and this is by studio makeup packaging is really nice and sleek looks like this it has a little sifter on the inside and you turn it to get product I'm gonna dump some out so we are gonna use this today as our blush I don't think I've ever gotten anything from this makeup line before it's a uh, studio makeup it says it retails for $35 I'm gonna go ahead and read the claims um, it says this lightweight blush provides a vibrant pop of color for the most natural healthy look a boxy tip is place desired amount of product into the cap of the item which we did ensuring that you don't use too much powder lightly dip your blush your brush into the cap to pick up just enough blush and apply to the apples of your cheeks continue applying for for until continue applying for until you reach the desired look anyway so I'm gonna go in with my blush brush that I usually use now I don't love a lot of blush because I've mentioned in previous videos I have a lot of redness in my skin so I cover all of that up and I add just a hint of color back into it so I'm gonna swatch this for you guys just so you can see what kind of color it is so it's a really don't mind that's lipstick stained on my hand by the way so it's a really really subtle kind of peachy rosy color and it does have glitter in it so I like a shimmery blush I don't so much love a glittery blush but we're still gonna give it a try it does have like quite I don't know if you guys it'll pick up on camera but it has a lot of glitters in it so we're gonna try it out um, I think it may be something that I might like just because it is such a sim simple hint of color and it's not too much so here we go so it doesn't have any scent which is nice so for those of you who have sensitivities to smell this doesn't have any kind of smell so it is just a really nice um, flush of color but I will say that it's very pigmented so don't pick up too much product like it says or just blend it out really really well okay so I don't mind it but like I said I did put a little too much on so now I have like these really rosy cheeks but it is what it is so I do like the color though like I said it is a super neutral and honestly like none of the glitters are picking up on my skin but let's move on so that blush retails for $35 and you do get a really really generous amount of it so I feel like this would last you like a long long time um, does it say exactly how much 
Yes, it does. Seven grams or 0.24 ounces. So a really, really healthy amount, and I love that. I think that's a really great um, thing about BoxyCharm is you get really, really nice. Like this is full size right here. So this is awesome. Um, and Okay, so the next product that I'm going to try out for you guys is an eyebrow pencil, which I saw the name brand of it when I first opened my box and I was like super excited because I don't have much from this brand, even though it's like the most popular, it's probably like the number one cosmetic company. But um, I'm still excited to try it out even though I've heard no one ever use these. <laughs> so it is by MAC Cosmetics. It is their eyebrows by MAC. Um, I have never heard of anyone using these. So I was excited, but at the same time I'm like, hmm, is that why they put it in here? Because no one ever uses it, so they, I don't know. So it's not as fine as like your Brow Wiz or something. It's not quite as small as that one. It is small. Um, they sent me, they sent me the shade Lingering, I think is the shade. So this retails for $18. You do get .09 grams of product in here. Just for reference, the Anastasia Brow Wiz comes with 0 0 0.085 grams. So this one comes with a teeny bit more. It retails for $18, which is also cheaper than the Brow Wiz. The Brow Wiz retails for $21. It says self-propelling, self-sharpening, and brow defining. This pencil will add everything you need. Shape, color, and or density in your st streamlined tool. Like a pen, it creates its own just right point for striking arches. It's also the perfect pencil to take on the go. No sharpener needed. Boxy tip, apply to brows to fill in, define, and color. <laughs> Great tip, Boxy Charm. Okay, so I will say this is like a really large tip. I'm, I'm honestly not excited. So it's like a pretty brown color. Um, I'm gonna swatch it next to my brow whiz because that is obviously the color that I use all the time. Color wise, it's almost the same, it's just a little more ashy. So the one on top is my brow whiz, and the one underneath it is the lingering by MAC. So it's a little more ashy, a little more cool toned. I obviously have red hair, so this is a little more warm toned for me. Okay, so let me show you the tips really quick. And it doesn't have a spoolie though. I feel like I would pay the extra $3 just for the spoolie because I need a spoolie. And I was noticing, so I was putting these up. So not a huge difference, I guess, but it's still a difference. And when you're dealing with something like the brows, you want it to be like super teeny because you want to get it really, really precise. So it is more round. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. You can see, let me see if you guys can see the two tips. It's definitely bigger. Um, and I noticed when you put it up, you can't put it back down. There's no way to like go back, which I thought was really weird. So we're gonna use it today. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to like it, but you never know, right, until you use it. So. We're gonna give it a go. I may speed through this because Lord knows it takes me forever and a day to apply brows, but I do hate the fact that I have to go in with a spoolie like separately. That's already irritating me. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so overall for the first brow, um, I don't hate it, uh, but I 
don't really and honestly see myself reaching for it. Um, just because I know it doesn't match me super well. I don't love the formula of it. I feel like it's not making me love the way my brows are looking. Yeah, it's just not something I would reach for. We're going to go ahead and do the other one real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, so that just took entirely way too long and I hate how my brows look. Like, I would not go out like this. I wouldn't. Like, they're very patchy, inconsistent. I had to keep reapplying them. Don't mind my brow strap, y'all. It's been a rough go with these brows, okay? As you can see, they're a little too ashy for me. It's not a terrible color match. Like, if this was a nicer product and I enjoyed using it, I may use it again or keep it on hand for like a backup kind of thing. But we're gonna give this away. We're gonna see if anyone else wants to give it a go. It's not for me. And it's very waxy. Like, my brows feel very waxy. Does, has anyone else ever used these? I'm so curious. I have never heard of anyone using a MAC brow pencil and I watch a lot of beauty gurus so if you have let me know what are your thoughts am I doing something wrong I don't know I'm not I just don't I'm not loving it so let me know what you guys think in the comments below but it is a miss for me so and that retailed for $18 I think I already told you moving on so one of the next products I wanted to show you guys which I can't use on video at Obviously, it is a deep conditioning mask, which I'm really excited to try. I love trying new hair masks. I do have colored hair, obviously. I do love using, anytime I wash my hair, I always use um, a deep conditioning mask. I do only wash my hair maybe twice a week, so every time I wash it, I love to use masks, and I love trying new ones out. This one is by Brio Geo. It says, don't despair, repair. Deep conditioning mask. No sulfates, no silicones, and no parabens. Anyway, yes. Excited to try that out. I will keep you guys updated in the description bar below, so keep a lookout for that. So this retails for twenty dollars. Um, I'm assuming this is probably not the full size. It doesn't ever say. I wish it did, but um, it says an intensive weekly weekly treatment to restore essential hydration and enhance hair's resilience to product against future damage told you how to use it and everything so um, this is two fluid ounces which is a generous amount I feel like I could get probably a good three or four uses out of this so I'm pretty I have a lot of hair <laughs> so at least three or four uses out of this um, maybe even more than that but this retails for 20 so so far we have a killer box each on this month obviously we got six products so it's gonna retail for a little bit more than usual but it's exciting the next product which I think I was most excited for I always get excited when I get palettes in my BoxyCharm. Um, so, a palette. I love getting palettes in BoxyCharm, and this one was super cute packaging, and I loved it. So, it is by Pure, the Sore Diaries. Um, I love that. Look at the packaging. Look at the rose gold. Super cute, sleek. It's got the marbled on front and the back. And then you open up. Dun, 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 dun. So, I was excited to get this. But I will say, this looks like a million other palettes that I have. So I was kind of bummed that it was all neutrally colors, but they are pretty, you know, I'll give it that. It's a really nice, cute, compact little palette. You, this is really good for traveling, nice and thin. Um, and it has all the colors I feel like that you would need maybe. I feel like it could have had a better transition color. Y'all hear that? My neighbors are beeping. Anyway, um, I'm going to try and go in with this one for a transition. It could be a good one for me. It did say for their little boxy tip. Um, where was it? It said, af nope, just kidding. Where are we? Here we are. This palette retor retails for $34. Um, it says, this essential palette is filled with highly pigmented and silky smooth shadows. Boxy tip is use the colors in the vertical rows from top to bottom to add highlight definition and drama. So this way. So you're supposed to use like these three, these three, these three, and these three together, um, which I think is a really cute um, idea for a palette. I know several palettes that do that. Sorry guys, I keep looking to make sure I'm in focus. Don't mind me. Just So I'm excited to try it out for you guys today. I am gonna do just like a super simple little look, but I think, I don't know, I may not use it in the row just because I don't love using matte 
highlighting shades usually, but I will swatch them for you guys. At least these, they are very buttery. At least these um, shimmery, glittery shades on the bottom. I'll swatch them for you guys real quick. Pretty and shimmery. Here they are on my fingers. Really pretty, really shimmery, and like I said, they're very buttery. So I want to swatch some of the matte shades, though, because I haven't gotten a, a chance to swatch those yet. Okay, so I'm going to swatch um, the first row. Ooh, they're really soft, you guys. Really soft. All right. Okay, so here they are. They don't really seem that powdery. They seem super, super soft, you guys. So there's the first row. I'm very fair, so you can't super tell all of them, but I think you can kind of pick it up. So there's those. Let's do the next row. Yeah, they all feel amazingly soft. Ooh, look at those, you guys. We're just going to go right... Ooh, okay, so snazzy. Oh, there it went. So those are the next four. Really rich. I'm loving the richness, you guys. This could be my go-to palette, at least. I mean, like I said, I have several palettes that have, like, these exact same colors, but maybe not necessarily all in the same palette. I mean, the Jaclyn Hill palette probably has all of these colors in it, but, um... It's definitely a really nice palette, especially if you're just starting your collection or just starting out in makeup. This is like a really pretty and perfect essential pack palette, you guys. I'm more beeping. Sorry about that. So I'm going to just go in with this Moda Pro brush. It's just a really nice fluffy brush. Any fluffy brush will do. Like I said, I'm going to try and go in with this one as my transition. They do have cute little names. This one is called Gala. Probably should have told you that in the swatches. So I've already primed my lids a little bit with concealer and some powder, so we're just going to go ahead and go in. See how they perform on the eyeballs. So I am trying right now to come up with a good schedule for my filming and stuff. I sincerely apologize that this past week I did not get anything up. I haven't even filmed. I've been going to a lot of bridal shows and bridal events, bridal things coming up. For those of you who don't know, my husband and I, yes, we're married, but we did not get a wedding. So next year we are having a fun little wedding gala, if you will. So um, I am actually going tomorrow for the very first time to try on wedding dresses. And I'm so excited. Um, unfortunately, only a couple of my bridesmaids are able to come, but we're still going to have a bomb time. It's going to be so much fun. And um, yeah, so if you didn't know... We will be doing that but I am trying to come up with a schedule for my filming and stuff and I'm really excited to get more videos up for you guys I'm planning on filming three times a week um, or I'm sorry uploading three times a week so Monday Wednesday Friday is gonna be my upload schedule by the way this is blending out beautifully it is a very cool toned transition color um, but it's really pretty Super soft and blending out like a dream, you guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's just like beautiful. What? Yeah, super pretty. And if you needed a more warm toned one, you could always use this one. It's a little deeper, so I don't know how well that would work as a, if you wanted like a super transition-y color. But anyway, um... I may go in with that one next, actually, just to kind of give it a little bit of a deeper color. So, if you guys have any suggestions on, I, w I wanted to come up with, like, theme days. So, Monday would be, like, something. I've, Monday's the only one that I'm, like, completely stumped on. Friday, I was thinking of naming, like, Funky Friday, and I could do, like, fun animated looks and just, like, randomness. For like a funky Friday video, um, Wednesday, the only thing I had in my brain was like Wisdom Wednesday, and I can do like tutorials on how to's, like an, um, you know, tips and trips, tips and tricks 
for eyeliner and lipsticks and all that kind of stuff just to give you guys some um, wisdom on different things in makeup so let me know what you guys think of that in the comments down below if you have any other great ideas I was hoping to have like makeup Monday or something but I feel like everything on my channel is really <laughs> related to makeup so anyway I'm trying to think of theme days but I'm not sure if I want to do that either because then it limits me for those certain days and I can't like if I for some reason didn't film something according to that or couldn't think of something or whatever then I feel like I am limited so I don't know what do you guys think of that do you think it's a good idea to do those kind of days would it be fun or just kind of you know keep it to what the title says and you guys can figure it out from there um, I do want to do like more hair tutorials and stuff too so if you guys have any kind of hair tutorials you want to see definitely let me know and I would love to do some more of those we have lots of hair stuff that we do on the girls and stuff anyway so I'm gonna try and get some more of those up too so yeah any input you guys have would be much appreciated all right we're going in with a little bit of a smaller brush I think I'm gonna do pretty warm today so I'm gonna go in by the way that second transition color I went in in, in with sorry, my speech I'm telling you the past couple days I don't know what it is um, was called splurge and then this one is called stunna and it's a really nice rich ready brown and we're gonna go right underneath Wow they're super pigmented I probably should have tapped my brush off maybe one more time Ooh, that's so pretty, you guys. I am loving this palette so far. Seriously. Oh my gosh, that just blended out like a dream. Super soft. All right, you guys, I gotta say, I did not have high hopes for this palette in the beginning, but I'm pretty excited about it right now. For like an everyday kind of palette, something neutral that you want to do, this is like perfect. You guys, like completely seamless and blended in like five seconds. You just go back and forth, back and forth, and bam, it's blended. It's like beautiful. All right, so now we're going to go over the lid with Twinkle. It's like this kind of peachy red glittery sparkly color. So we're going to use the finger, of course. Um, any shimmers in any palette ever known, you always get more payoff when you go in with your finger. So, wow, look at that. That is so pretty. That's amaze balls, you guys. Super, super pretty. I will say that there is a little fallout, but because it's like a shimmery, you can just dust it right off. It's not like the powder matte ones where it will kind of ruin your look. It's just more kind of chunky, you know? It's, it's perfect, like with minimal effort. That's awesome, you guys. Yes. Yeah, if you can you can kind of see on my finger like it's very kind of <laughs> can't get my camera to focus today. Anywho, it's kind of like chunky a little bit. But this palette also does come with a really pretty nice mirror. So that's always a plus in my book. And it was super easy to blend out the shimmer. Alright, you guys, this palette is a definite thumbs up. This is a definite hit. Definitely a hit for me. I love it so excited for that. I'm definitely going to keep that on my vanity and reach for it periodically, I'm sure. I think it's perfect. It's got the perfect neutrals, really great shimmers in it. They have like a little pop to them. So I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, you guys, so I'm back. I did my mascara, put on some highlight, and I finished up my lower lash line and everything. So um, my next BoxyCharm product is our very last and I've done everything about my lips because we do have a lip product from Colourpop 
It is in strip. It is a nudie color, nudie tan color. So I'm excited to try this because I have wanted to have more nudes in my collection. So I am excited to try this. I'm wondering if it's going to be, I'm like super pasty right now, if you couldn't tell. Um, I have no self tan on, so I'm like as pasty as they get right now. So I'm going to see if it'll work with me while I'm pasty. But I am thinking I will really like it when I'm tan. Anyway, we're going to try it on the lips. I do have some lip balm on because this is one of their ultra satin lips. Um, it's not their ultra matte. I do like their ultra satins, I think a little better than the ultra matte because they're a little less drying. This retails for $6, which is always nice and affordable. I love the ColourPop ones because they are so affordable, but they have a really good formula as well. Um, in the palette, I don't know if I told you guys, this retails for $34, so really, really awesome. Excited about that. So let's go ahead and try this lippy. I gotta say, um, I don't always love browns on me. I think it's just the pastiness though. When I'm pasty, I don't love browns, but when I'm tan, I think it looks nice because it looks more nude than brown. Um, I think it's nice. I think it's a really nice fall color, especially. Um, I think it'll go really well with so many different things because it is, of course, a nude color. So what do you guys think of it down in the comments? I think it goes really well with my eye look right now. So I'm liking that. Um, I might try it on with, I'm gonna do a bridal look tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited to try different bridal looks to see what I wanna wear on my wedding day because of course I will probably be doing my own makeup just because I don't know if I would be able to trust anyone else to do it. And you know, I don't know if anyone else is like that. I just feel like I do my own nails usually. I do pretty much everything myself. I wax. Um, my eyebrows, I do everything by myself um, because I have not had good experiences. I think that's, and I'm just super picky. Like, I'm really picky about my eyebrows. I'm really picky about my hair, so I do my hair myself. Um, although, I did have a really, really amazing hairstylist, Lindsay, at Total Knockout. Anyone local to the Rochester area should definitely check her out. Um, but anyway, yeah, I like to do um, my own stuff, so I probably will be doing my own makeup on my wedding day. I don't know about my girls yet for the wedding. I may do theirs too. Haven't really decided, but I have decided I think I will be doing my own makeup just because why not, right? I mean, I can do it. And I love doing it, so it's not something I feel like that would add a lot of stress, so let's hope that's the case. So anyway, I do like this lippy. I'm excited to try it out when I'm self tan because so, I think I will like it a little bit more. I do remember getting a BoxyCharm lip gloss by Allegory Story that I think would go really well with this. Um, it's a really nice brown color. So I think this would go really well with this too, just to give it a little gloss if you wanted the glossier look. I like their satins because they don't dry down completely, so it feels a lot more comfortable on the lips. So yeah, so all overall, I'm happy with this box. I think it was a really good box. Really excited to try this out. I will definitely be using the blush a little more, maybe apply a little less. <laughs> and um, I'm excited to try that out a little bit more. This is a miss for me. This is a miss for me. But overall, everything else, I love the palette. I love the lippy. Excited to try the blush more. And I'm really excited about this. And I'm really excited that I got six products this month, like six products six full-size products except this I think so that's even more exciting so um, so overall let's add it up so overall this box adds up to hundred and forty one dollars I think this is my largest most expensive boxy charm yet that's really exciting so hundred and forty one dollars for a twenty one dollar box amazing and I get to try out new brands every month which I absolutely love and I just signed up for this for a play box, so that should be coming here in the next few days, and I'm super excited to get my first one. And I pray I like it. I tried, I was doing Ipsy, I paused that one for this month to try this one, the Sephora play box, so stay tuned for that video. I'm excited for it to come and unbox it with you guys and share everything with you that I got. But thank you guys so, so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, please do give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe, that really helps me out so, so much. I'd love to have you a part of our beauty family here on YouTube. 
But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time.